Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back another kicking action figure review. Yet another figure from the Dragon Star series. It is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku from Bandai America. Uh, the last two figure reviews I did were from the wave before his wave. Um, and I have to say, he could have been better, a little better maybe. But at, for the budget of this figure, they probably did the best they could. Like, you know Super Saiyan 3 has all this hair, right? That's what makes it unique, is the giant hair, really. And that makes him so back heavy it's unbelievable. If you want to display this guy, you're going to need some type of stand. Um, probably if you want to display him in a good pose. Or you could have him hunched over like that, and he'll stand just fine. But, you know, I mean, you could get some cool poses in, in this relative s s way, but... Like a charging up pose with his arms up, that would be pretty cool. But you probably want to display him facing out a bit more. So he'll he'll need a stand or to be like propped up against something, because uh, his hair is very heavy. Uh, it's it's a separate piece. It does attach. It articulates a tiny bit, but the more you articulate it, uh oh, you see the more it comes off because it's not actually designed to be articulated. You see. Uh, so he has head and neck articulation, but you barely get anything out of it because of the giant hair. Uh, nice waist and stuff, but the hair makes him lean back and puff out his chest all the time. Uh, nice kind of up and down in the arms. I like how the gi is separated here into a separate piece so that you can move the arms better. Uh, but yeah, lots of arm movement, wrist, etc. You pretty much know how a regular Goku moves in this line already. So, it, well, if you're into this line, you do anyways. I, I shouldn't assume that you are familiar with the other Gokus in this line, I guess. Sorry about that. But yeah, very back-heavy. Um, he, he definitely... He, he, see, he won't... I want, I want him to pose forward like that so you can see the hair. He, wouldn't, he didn't want to go that way. But uh, the hair itself looks good. I mean, the paint is pretty nice. It does shine a bit, and it's got some brighter parts in it. Uh, so the hair is painted well, which is important on a Super Saiyan figure. You want it to be a little metallic -y. You don't want it to just be yellow. You want it to shine, because it shines in the show. Now, I'm going to compare him with the only two other Dragon Ball figures I have available right now. Most of them are in storage. I've packed up my anime figures. I'm not really displaying them right now because I have some limited space and I'm selling off a bunch of stuff. So, uh, there is a link to my eBay in the description below and I will be selling some Dragon Ball stuff on there, by the way. Um, so yeah, you know, here's Super Saiyan 3 Goku with his next form in uh, certain continuities. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. They're about the same height. You know, they look good together. I prefer this one as a figure, but this one looks nice too. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad I bought the Super Saiyan 3. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he's got his problems. But for a figure of this budget, they're problems that are kind of just going to exist. Then to show him with a villain. Frieza! 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 Right there. They're from the same wave. I believe they're in a wave with Piccolo. I didn't get the Piccolo because I didn't want him. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh... If they make a piccolo with, like, his cape and hat, I'll get that piccolo. But no cape and hat? No thanks. I like his cape and hat. Because the piccolo figure I had as a child had cape and hat. And therefore, I want cape and hat. Uh, so, yeah, let's remove that from the equation. Goku's got some accessories as well. The two kind of grapple hands that figures from this line always come with. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku came with this as well. Kind of an instant transmission or beam shooting hand. Uh, for Goku, this would be more of an instant transmission hand. If they gave this hand to a Vegeta, however, it would be more of like a beam shooting hand. But, um, yeah, so an instant transmission hand is pretty cool. I'm displaying my Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a hand like this, but it's not exactly the same. I do want to show you that because I did notice that earlier. Um, look at the hand on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And look at the hand on the Super Saiyan 3. The Super Saiyan 3 one has thumb out, so they're actually different hands. Which is really cool. They could have just given him the same hand they gave Super Saiyan 4, and they didn't. They chose to sculpt a different hand. And that's what happens when you get rid of Build-A-Figures. When you get rid of Build-A-Figures, individual figures become better. That's what happens. 
because they use the budget from each individual figure to make the Build-A-Figure part. So therefore, it's you're literally taking away from the individual figure to make the Build-A-Figure. And I don't mind as much on Marvel Legends. They've been doing it so long they found a bit of a balance. Plus, since they're comic book figures that all share kind of a basic base style, it's easier to do that. But with more unique figures like these and Power Rangers and Star Wars, you know, no Build-A-Figures is better. And I'm, I'm glad those lines don't have Build-A-Figures at all or anymore. So, what are my final thoughts on the Dragon Star series Super Saiyan 3 Goku? It could have been better. It could have been better. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe if he would have come with a stand or something, that would have been nice. But you know a lot of the budget went into that hair. I think the hair came out well. It would just be... <laughs> It would just be nice if he wasn't so back heavy. Wow. He's so heavy back there. He doesn't want to stand right. Displaying him is going to be an issue. And since these are primarily for adult collectors, you know, that's that. And I wish, even with the hair, they would have sculpted it in a way so that he could face straight forward without having to lean his waist joint all the way back. Because, see, without the hair... It, it, it can still barely come up that far. I want it to be here, but about that's about as far as it actually goes. So, you know, he doesn't... His head doesn't come up that much farther without the hair. And I guess they figured they didn't need to do that because the hair would block it anyways, which is true. But still, I just wish he could look straight forward even with the hair. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. For the last few reviews, I've known what my next review would be, but I don't know what my next review is going to be. It could be a Universal Monster, Super Sentai, a Kamen Rider. Uh, it could be anything. Pacific Rim? Who knows? So that's it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all later.